If you have been watching me for a while, you know that I am on the hydrogen bandwagon. I really love the internal combustion engine and this technology can keep the internal combustion engine alive. But unfortunately, there are some drawbacks with this tech. Well, at least there were. Thanks to a huge breakthrough researchers from UOW and ACS made. Now before I go into the great work these guys have done, let's talk about the problems with hydrogen as a green energy source and then I will explain how their breakthrough makes this technology more viable. So hydrogen doesn't exist on earth in its pure form, so we need to produce it. How do we do that? You need to separate the molecules of water. The process of electrolysis is expensive and inefficient and this process uses a lot of energy which makes hydrogen an expensive energy source. Another huge problem is the fact that the process of separating the molecules is super inefficient. The process of electrolysis is only 75% efficient, which means there is a loss of 25%. So it costs a lot and you waste 25% of potential energy. Not great for me and my dreams of hydrogen powered cars with internal combustion engines. Well, that's exactly where this breakthrough comes in. UOW and ACS have developed a new electrolyzer technology that brings cost competitive renewable or green hydrogen closer to reality. Now their technology is much better than any other existing electrolyzers on our planet and it is well above the International Renewable Energy Agency's 2050 target. Now like I said previously, the process of electrolysis was only 75% efficient so we lost a lot of potential energy. So, if this new electrolyzer is so great, how efficient do you think it is at splitting the molecules? 80% efficient? Maybe 85? Well no, Heisata, which is the spin-out company that was formed last year to commercialize the breakthrough hydrogen electrolyzer technology, has made an electrolyzer that is 95% efficient. Now what does this mean? Well this enables for an affordable hydrogen production cost that can match the production cost of fossil fuels. In other words, where hydrogen used to cost way more than fossil fuels to produce. This awesome breakthrough makes it possible for hydrogen to be produced at the same prices it costs to make fossil fuels. Now Paul Barrett, CEO of Heisata said that the company is on a clear pathway to commercialize the world's most efficient electrolyzer and reach a gigawatt scale hydrogen production capacity by 2025. Now does this breakthrough solve all our problems with using hydrogen? Well unfortunately not. You see hydrogen isn't as energy dense as other forms of fuel which means if you have the same amount of fuel you wouldn't be able to extract the same amount of energy from it which basically means the same car would use more hydrogen than it would use normal fuel. This would make it a little more expensive for a daily driver. Now I would pay a little more to keep my turbocharged inline 6 fed and on the road. I mean it would sound cool and be green. Or would it? When you combust hydrogen you get other emissions besides water vapor, mainly you get nitrogen oxide. Now high levels of nitrogen oxide can have a negative effect on vegetation by making it more susceptible to disease and frost damage which is not ideal. But you see there are solutions for this too. They are NOx catalytic converters. Now these NOx cats convert toxic nitrogen oxide into harmless nitrogen. Now these NOx cats have been used in diesels and other engine models. Now I'm not sure if they have ever been tested with a hydrogen internal combustion engine but I'm pretty sure some smart ass dude can figure it out. Now this breakthrough combined with all the new hydrogen internal combustion engines makes me super excited. Imagine 10 years from now driving around in a V8 that only produces water vapor. So yes for now they will produce nitrogen oxide but as technology advances I am pretty sure we will figure out a way to catch the nitrogen oxide or to change it into something that won't be as destructive to our environment. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I've got many more videos on hydrogen cars, on electric cars, and on all things car related. So if you get a chance, go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?